If you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes to what is good everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new is a girl missus and i'm back with another video so today i don't know how i'm necessarily going to title this video because i'm technically not doing a full face using new makeup or new makeup products to me the main focus is going to be based on beauty bay's newest releases so if you're about this life and you love makeup content make sure you do subscribe i would really appreciate it put your post notifications on to all so you never miss out any uploads and for Follow me on Instagram, it is missy.sis, but without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I got some of my makeup goodies from Beauty Bay. If you're not based in the UK, Beauty Bay is like a little Sephora, but an online service. So they pretty much provide healthcare products, skincare, and makeup. Maybe in the last year or so, they have come up with their own makeup products. So I thought, let me just test out some of their new launches and pretty much just go through this experience with you guys because you know how we do around here. So the few things that I picked up from Beauty Bay were some of their makeup brushes, um, some of their beauty sponges, but these are like the mini ones. I don't really get down with the mini ones, but I'm gonna see how it go. I made an order okay, a couple of weeks ago and I actually got this palette for free with my order. I also got some highlighters. Weirdly enough, these highlighters actually came out um, around the time when I done my first impressions using their bronzers and their blushes which again was a few months ago. I picked up one of their newest lipstick collections. This is the nude collection. And then while I was adding that to my basket, I did pick up one of their lip liner pencils. But to be honest, I have been waiting for this moment to test this out. And if you've been following me for a while, you might even be shook what I'm about to say. This eyeshadow palette, and it's the Book of Magic palette. I saw one of my virtual sisters here, Ali C. She done a review on this a couple of months ago. Tammy Clark has mentioned this a um, couple of videos ago as well. And I thought, you know what? This colour story is speaking out to me. So I'm going to revisit the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder. If you haven't seen my first impressions, I will leave it in a card and also description box below. Thank you for all the love. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did not like my makeup in that video. Like my lashes, my brows, the base. It was just all a mess. So I'm not going to use this as an actual foundation base if that makes sense i'm going to use this to set my makeup so so i'm going to go in with the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating foundation i have already primed my skin and i just used the nyx honey doom primer which i absolutely love so let's just do the base because i kind of still want to make this a full face so i'm just going to pump one more here because I actually forgot that I've got one of their foundation brushes from Beauty Bay. So this is what the foundation brush from Beauty Bay looks like. And it's like a round head, but it's really soft, but then dense at the same time. The brushes actually feel really good. This is the In The Buff. That's actually quite funny. Is it In The Buff? Yeah, this is called In The Buff. And yeah, it feels really, really nice actually. Okay. Hmm doesn't feel prickly on the face and these brushes are also cruelty free and vegan friendly as well so it's actually a really really nice brush i actually really like that and i love this foundation <laughs> i apologize by the way the fenty beauty foundation the liquid one i'm also in the shade 445 so i'm just gonna go in with some concealer this is my Oma beauty concealer in the shade brown sugar t2 so I just reapplied a little bit of concealer because I do want to try these sponges. So look, look, look what my son done to the box. Like Jesus, that little boy wants savage. You see, comes four in the pack. So this is what it looks like when it's dry. So it's very tiny, but then when you wet it, it's like this size. So it does grow to a decent size as a really mini sponge. Yeah, I mean it does blend the makeup nicely, but it's just too small. Okay, so I have decided to cream contour today, so I'm just going to go in with my Oma Beauty Duo Stick in the shade Brown Sugar once again. I'm sorry, but this base, this this is me. Like, this is, this is the base that suits me. I can't do anything else. So I'm quickly setting my casino now with my favourite powder. This is the Beauty Bakery um, Flower Powder in the shade Planting. I am going to go in with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush 
flawless finish powder so I'm just gonna use some of this just to set under my eyes in the shade 3 and the brush I'm using is the Morphe M501 brush To keep it in the Beauty Bay family, I'd rather just use the bronzer and the blushes. The shade that I use um, is Chestnut. I do have the shade O. Um, Chestnut is actually my favourite shade. And then the blush that I got as well is in the shade Coral. I go in with my blush in the shade Coral from Beauty Bay. So we are semi done, I always like to apply my highlighter after my eyeshadow, I don't know why, I just do, this is just like my normal routine. Just in case if anyone is curious, this is the 42 Bright Palette and it retails for £23, this is one of Beauty Bay's palettes. I think the only reason why this was gifted to me as a free product is because my order was probably over a certain limit and it was pretty much around the Christmas period, yeah it's definitely around the Christmas period. Oh, it is a beautiful palette, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not wild by the shimmer shades, but I am just gonna quickly just swatch some of them for you. Heat Escape, which is like a rosy pink shade. This is one of the shimmers. Orange Soda is a beautiful shade, can't even lie. I'm gonna swatch this red matte one called Hot Stuff. And I really wanna swatch this navy one called Stormy Night. Ooh, Stormy Night came up pigmented, boy. Air called Tree. Wow, they're very pigmented to swatch. Wow. So if you will see in terms of this one, this one and that one, those are the shimmery mattes. They just, they like matte shadows with a sheen. That's the only way I can explain it. Sorry, that blue one did not, I did not swatch that properly. This black one looks like a grey black. Um, so I'm going to swatch this black one to see. Wow. Yeah, that actually comes out. Oh yeah. So that's actually a proper black. It's but. The main star of the show is this bad boy right here, and it's called The Book of Magic. Like, so I think they came up with The Book of Magic and Sunset Horizon, or Sun Horizon, something like that. I actually wasn't interested with Sun Horizon or Sunset Horizon, whatever it's called, but I've got put a picture on the screen. I don't know, for some reason I was just not really feeling it funny enough and I was like more intrigued with this one so this retails for £15 but it's 40% off right now and I got this eyeshadow palette for £9 people £9 it's got 20 ultra pigmented shades vibrant shimmers dual chromes and a buttery soft matte so, so as you can see oh, let me see what this looks like Nah. Nah, this eyeshadow palette is pretty. I've actually dimmed my lighting it's just so you guys can see. But can you not deep the blues though? Deep it, girl. Hey, I like the fact they've got like neutral shades as well and a brown. That is stunning. That's actually a really nice palette. I can't even lie. If you do not have the Nikki Tutorials um, palette, was not one of my favourite palettes. Um, this was actually my least favourite makeup product that I've purchased in 2020. Only because of the colour story. Like, I wasn't really feeling this colour story. But I did say that the mattes are pigmented. The shimmers in here was one of my favourite thing about this palette. But um, in terms of the colour story, it was just not like my type of thing if that makes sense so let me just create a little glam and then i will be back oh you guys have to pray for me upon this one yeah because oh no no i missed up already when it comes to the look of eyeshadow look them but i'm gonna try one look of something something i want to pray for me upon this one but let me just try and do a little thing and then i'll be back with you guys shortly okay so this is the look that i've gone for and i don't know why i've done a very silly mistake by filming this part of camera because this is when i'm meant to share the experience with you guys you know showing you guys my first impression actually using this palette so i've already done primer eye off camera the primer that i used was the revolution ultimate base primer and this is in the shade light so i think this is obviously the lightest one and these sponges will actually come in handy when it comes to primer my eyelids because where it's so small and quite precise i can use this to blend up my primer so the first shade that I used was Curse, which is this gorgeous navy blue down here. Love the shade, like honestly, anything that's got this beautiful tone in a palette, oh, it's just stunning. Like that shade on dark skin, oh my gosh, it proper comes up. It's just so stunning. 
So you guys know I'm going to do like a little rough cut of this, but this is what I've done anyway. I am going to use one of the um, Beauty Bay brushes. I didn't use this brush. I actually used one of my EIG shells, which is quite long and tapered. So um, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to obviously have to use this to make sure everything is pretty much, you know, similar. So this is the brush from Beauty Bay, which I didn't use on the other eye. As you can see, it's clean and it's called Round the Bend. The next shade that I went in was the shade down here called Trick. And it is a beautiful blue shade. Like these tones, honestly, this is, this is more of like a pastel color, but that is suitable for dark skin. That's the only way I can explain it. And again, hardly, hardly any fallout. And then what I've done is blend Trick next to that navy blue like so and then pat it down and then blend into the navy blue shade like oh that combo right there just now i'm gonna go into a lighter blue shade in the inner corner of my eye and the shade that i use is alexa which is like this baby sky blue hair so i'll just apply it here and just so I really brought it like into my bridge and like my inner corner. Okay, so obviously where I do have a lot of space between my crease to my brow bone, I didn't want to drag the color all the way to my brows. Um, so I just softened the outer portion with like a skin tone shade. I went in the shade called Amulet, which is like a really nice sort of skin tone light brown shade. I will need to end up doing my brows again because obviously the shade is like touching my brows. So probably just need to touch up on my brows again okay so now I semi cut the crease I'm not too sure if it's even but it's cool it's it would do but I'm gonna go in with another Beauty Bay brush and this is one of like a shading brush it's a really nice flat shading brush quite good as well and this is called Gold Shader so your typical shading brush silver so Moonlight is that silver shade. I, I don't really like silver on the lids. I prefer more of like golds or like bronzy shades, but this shade is really, really nice and I think it does go really well with this palette. And it is like a potty formula, like it feels really, really soft, but it is, it's got a nice shimmer. I'm gonna go in with the shading brush from Beauty Bay and this is where I used it in my inner corner. I literally just apply that in my inner corner so again there is fallout like i do feel like bits like crumbling on my face so um funny enough i just didn't experience that with the blues but i just experienced it with this one and then reinforce it like that's when you can get a little bit more blingy with your finger if you're not a type of person that doesn't like using the finger um i could only just give you a warning now you will have to use your finger especially like with these potty formulas and then the next shade that I use that's more in the center is this shade called Potion. Oh, Potion's looking all cute and weather. I accidentally digged her a little bit, so apologize to Potion. But this silver, like, look at that. Like, do you see that? Nah, don't upset me. Like, honestly, these just apply so nicely. I'm gonna neaten my eyes a little bit more, add a little bit of like a shade on my lower lash line. So with this type of eye look, I definitely need to go with some popping eyelashes. So I do have two eyelashes from Britney White Makeup. Um, I've got the Styles Baddy 268 Baddy, which looks like this. So very flared out at the end. But then I've got these ones called Auntie, which are thicker and luscious looking so i don't know which one i'm going to use because you guys know i'm not really that adventurous when it comes to eyelashes but i'm going to apply some lashes on do my lower lash line and then i think we just got a few more bits to get through and then that's pretty much done the lashes that i did end up using is the style auntie from britney white makeup so now i'm going to set my face with the fenty beauty um soft matte foundation powder these are the two brushes that i picked up they are actually like my go-to brushes this is from bh cosmetics and this is the Morphe one. This is the E2 brush. This one is more dense because it's got more bristles and this is a little bit more fluffier. So let me see how this one goes. The only thing about this packaging, like this, 
can get a little bit annoying. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It definitely. Yeah, this is definitely adding coverage. Change my brush and use something a bit light. Okay, yeah, that's better. So yeah, definitely depends what brush that you use. Um, it's nice though. So that's the beat done, and my face does look flawless, but it's too matte. Like I cannot wait until I set my face. But we're gonna highlight before doing that. Oh, so I've got two of the highlighters from Beauty Bay once again. I think they retail for six pounds or maybe five pounds. Oh, sorry, five pounds. And these are powder highlighters. Troll free through the little window. It's looks like a stunning gold shade. Um, Glaze, on the other hand, looks like a sort of iridescent light pink shade and this is something i would not get and i don't know why i picked up glaze the shade that i should have got is beam because that's described as a champagne shimmer i obviously did not read the description so this is not a shade for me like oh it feels really soft though but a pale pink shimmer nah it's 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 not me baby i mean is mm, can i work with that i mean it's pigmented though but it's just not me. However, Trophy, she is a banger. They're very smooth. They're like a cream to powder formula. Oh, yeah, Trophy is a little bit of me. I'm gonna try out this highlighting brush. I don't think I would like this as a highlighter brush because it's just a little bit too wide for me. But this I should have used to like blend out my casino. But this is the glow up brush. So, and if we don't like it, ooh. This actually is really pigmented, there's a lot of kick up. Oh yeah, yeah that's a bit of me. May not necessarily go with this look because obviously the silver on the lid, but overall that is a really nice shade. Let's use a little bit of glaze. Oh, they're very pigmented, there's a lot of, I don't know if you lot can see that, but there's a lot of um, kick back. But there's a C with glaze. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just gonna go in something that's more smaller. That is a blinding highlight. I look crazy. Ooh, I need to rectify this. I need to sort this out, mate. Sort it out, love. Sort it out. Okay. For a £5 formula, I'm not gonna lie, that is a very blinding highlighter. And I've literally dimmed that down with blush and powders and everything. But it's really, really nice. Okay, so I did set my face off camera and I just used my NYX Radiant Setting Spray and a little bit of my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray as well. So we're gonna go onto the lips because definitely need to put something on these lips, girl. Like, 110%. Uh. Battery died, so I don't know where I left off and my hair was annoying me. So I'm gonna recap and go back a bit just in case. Um, I did onper the nude lipstick collection packaging and these are what the bullet looks like. So the nude collection retails for 24 pounds but I believe you can get these bullets on its own and they retail for like seven pounds. So the first shade I'm gonna go in is Freckle and Freckle is described as a ashy brown nude. That is the shade. Um, it doesn't actually look like an ashy brown nude to me. It's meant to have a matte finish, but as you can see, there's a lot of separation. Uh, so they're not the most pigmented formula. And you can see that like, the inner pink portion of my lips. Don't get me wrong, they were very right about the term ashy. But the next shade that I'm gonna try out is T, and T is described as a light nude. So that one was freckle and this one is tea. Again, it's just got a lot of that separation going on. So the next one I'm going to try is pinch and pinch is described as a pink tone nude. Pinch is much better. Okay, so pinch is definitely much better. I do like the shade. Again, it will look so much better with a brown lip liner. It's not as streaky in comparison to the other two nudes. But again, it's not as pigmented either. And then lastly, we've got the shade Cola. And Cola is described as a deep red tone brown. Oh, brown. Oh, yeah. I love me a little bit of Cola. And that is the shade Cola. This is probably the most accurate 
description out of all the shames they have listed in this collection and this is the most pigmented the most suitable for my skin complexion as well i did get a lip pencil and this pencil shade is called vintage um and i'm hoping okay yeah so it's quite similar to the shade cola but it doesn't have that red undertone to it so that's the combination that i've come up with so the brown lip liner in the shades vintage is nice and the lipstick that i use is freckles which was the ashy brown the ashy nude so you have to go in with a gloss so i'm actually going to use one of the fenty lip balm cream glosses and this is the shade marv's wise oh yeah that's a bit of me that's me that is me so even though i just literally just used the fenty beauty lip gloss i actually forgot that i got the lip gloss from beauty bay oh this is the shade mocha um it's actually a nice nude shade oh it's a beautiful nude shade <gasps> oh, i'm vexed i am vexed that's actually a really nice shade oh and it's actually pigmented it's got a nice smell to it as well so now finally the glam is completed i can get into my opinions about these products but just to get out of the way the fenty beauty foundation powder i do prefer to use this as a setting powder even though it's got more coverage than i'm accustomed to and i must say using this on top of like my base it did make my base look very flawless i think i got a little bit of lip gloss up there yeah yeah of the gloss even though i didn't quite use her but i did i do like this gloss the dolphin is a little bit small like very tiny ice and that shade mocha is beautiful so i do like this gloss and i would definitely will probably keep using this with different lip combos my least favorite i would definitely have to say these lipsticks um they're not really doing it for me the shade cola is my favorite shade but, but the lipsticks in general in terms of the formula they're not really that great especially for the price of seven pounds I mean the one from MUA I think their lipsticks are about like what one pound fifty to two pound maybe and they've got more pigment where these are quite streaky they don't have a lot of pigmentation um, and also this nude collection I wouldn't say is brown skin dark skin friendly the highlighters are beautiful they're like a cream to powder formula they're very soft and very buttery and very pigmented like blinding oh, I am not mad at these highlighters i'm not gonna lie low-key they're decent so also this lip liner is really nice and what i like about these liners is that they're very pigmented but it's got a grip to it like you know sometimes liners can be very smooth and waxy that tend to bleed it's pigmented and the shade is beautiful so i would definitely say the lip liner is a winner this palette stunning like no nah even at its full price of 15 pounds i think that is actually really reasonable but the fact that i got this for nine pounds like i cannot complain i am actually so happy about this palette i want to actually create another look formulas from the mattes are pigmented the shimmer shades there's dual crumbs in there it is a really nice good looking palette and it performs so well i'm so happy i got this palette because i was eyeing this up for the longest while and when i saw it for nine pounds i caught that one time and i'm so happy i got this palette so pretty much the end of the video i hope you guys really enjoyed this one i really enjoyed filming this and like creating this glam so i really hope you enjoyed this if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up i will leave all the details in the description box below thank you so much if you have watched to the end subscribe on your way out and i would love to see you guys in my next video bye and boom they on the tune like big up my sisters